Hey guys, it's Bub here. In this video, we're doing something a little different than we typically do. In this video, we're taking a look at the next version of Windows Server. This is Windows Server vNext, or Windows Server 2025. This is taking us a look in the future of what Windows Server could look like. Um, this is basically like the Windows Insider build of Windows Server. Um, the ISO is called vNext, but as you'll see once we get into the setup experience, it actually says Server 2025. So let's get straight into it. I'm very excited because I administer Windows servers and I honestly, I can't wait to bring the Windows 11 UI down to those servers. So let's see, this is just your typical, this looks like the new setup that we actually saw in the dev build of Windows 11. I forget what build it was. Uh, we're gonna install Windows server and agree that everything will be deleted. Um, I don't want to use a product key but this is new. I want to use server pay as you go. Maybe I shouldn't have clicked that. I'm going to go back and change that. I've actually never heard of that before. Maybe that's something for like Azure. All right. And we're going to go 2025 standard desktop experience. We're going to continue. Um, okay. And it is going to do whatever it's doing, searching for disks. We're going to uninstall to the unallocated space here. And that should be it, if I recall. Yep, we are going to install Server 2025. And there we go. We are now installing Server 2025, and we'll be back once it's installed. All right, and here we are in the out-of-box experience. I actually haven't seen this screen since the early days of Windows 10. The Windows 10 out-of-box experience looks so much different. Um, but okay, let's enter our password. We're just going to name this password. Oh, it actually won't let you do it. Okay, what about, what if we do password one exclamation? What about that? There we go. Yeah, that's like the Windows 10 out of box experience. That's a little weird. That's not what I was expecting at all. But all right, here we are. So it wants us to press control alt delete. And then that's where we enter our super safe and secure password. And just like that, we are logging in to Windows Server 2025. All right, and here's some of the Windows 11 out of the box experience. We're gonna send the required diagnostic data only. I don't really, all right, there we go. Here we are inside of Server 2025. And the first thing I notice is why is Copilot here? That is the stupidest thing. Having Copilot here just reminds me of like why you put the start screen on Windows Server 2012. Let's see if we can get VMware tools installed so we can get a better little experience here. But that's just stupid. Why Why is Copilot on here? All right, and here we are inside of the good server 2012. 2025, not 2012. First things first, let's take a look in the server manager. I'm not seeing anything drastically different um, from what's actually in the current 2022 server manager. Um, I'm not going to go too much into detail in like the actual server component, but more or less the UI component and see how it compares to Windows 11. Um, the one thing that I do know that I read was that server 2025 is going to have a new domain forest level. So I believe the previous version was 2016, which means uh, Active Directory was unchanged since like 2016. Um, they're now adding, now it'll be what, 11 years, nine years later, they're finally adding a new domain level. Um, but if you're going to upgrade to the domain level, obviously all your domain controllers have to be on that same that same level as V2025. So that might be not well adopted by most. I mean, I don't know. I've never had to see a domain forest level change. Um, I really do like this background. I might actually take this and make this a background on one of my computers. I do like this. Although it does seem a little blurry to me. Maybe it's because we didn't log in and log out. Opening the start menu, by default we have Edge settings and file explorer and that is it and i think that's how it should be that is beautiful we have accessibility uh, typical accessibility stuff azure arc setup which i did notice was pushed to uh, my server 2022 machines not sure why we have the older windows calculator this is actually kind of nice you know because why would you need the uwp version on a server or why would you need calculator on a server anyway um, feedback hub which i think that's dumb file explorer get started what what is get started going to tell me how to use a server like that's just seem kind of redundant like why does a server need get started this is actually just a windows 11 get started it thinks we're running windows 11 okay that that might need to get kicked out microsoft edge i'm glad that's by default i think yeah i think server 2022 did that or maybe they didn't i i don't remember uh we have notepad we have the old paint 
yep this is the original paint not the new one um, I don't know why you would put paint on a server but okay and then we have server manager settings snipping tool window two snipping tools the original and speak for me I don't I don't know what that is and apparently it doesn't launch anything then we have terminal which appeared to have had a download I would assume this is the way that they want you to access PowerShell and Command Prompt because I would I didn't actually see PowerShell or Command Prompt in the start menu, but it is there though. I bet it's under I bet they're both under Windows Tools. Yeah, they are. There's Command Prompt and there's PowerShell. So I bet they want you to use Terminal though because that's like their new thing. Then they have Windows Backup, which I don't get why you need Windows Backup on a server because most people use something like Veeam or an alternative. And then there's Windows Security, which I, I do like being built into a server. I think it adds another extra layer of protection, although not as great as, as a typical EDR platform that you should have installed. Moving on, let's take a look at File Explorer and see how much we're using. So we're actually using about 13 gigabytes here of storage, which isn't great, but again, it's Windows Server. You're probably gonna be putting on a really beefy device that doesn't really necessarily need, you know, you don't need to be concerned about disk space so we can turn copilot off i don't actually know why it's on by default because yes while i'm administering my server while i'm setting up active directory i'm going to open copilot and i'm going to start asking it how to do stuff i think that's really stupid i don't know why microsoft in their right mind would even think about putting that in here it just i think it's like bloatware and i don't want bloatware on my servers not at all let's take a look here at winver um, yep, Windows Server 24H2. So does that mean it's coming out later this year? I think I think that's what it means. I'm pretty sure I did read that somewhere. Windows Server 2025 standard. Let's see what kind of cool backgrounds we get because I do actually I like this background a lot. Will we get a dark mode one too? Well, we can't change them. Um, but it looked like there we got a dark mode wallpaper too, like the same theme. Um, that looks new, I don't recognize that, but does look familiar like the standard Windows 11. Let's lock our computer because I did see, you know, typically Windows Server, yeah, you have to press Control Alt Delete to unlock things. Um, it's just a security measure. Uh, if we press Switch User, because we're not domain joined, it really shouldn't actually let me switch user, yeah. So let's enter our very secure password. On the lock screen, we don't have power options, which is really good because, you know, you don't want someone just shutting down your, com your server. Then you have Copilot that finally popped up, and I'm going to ask why is Copilot on Windows Server 2025? What is it? What do you think it's going to say? I'm very curious to know. It's thinking. Windows Server 2025 is the next release. Okay, but that doesn't answer my question. Oh, wait. Integration of artificial intelligence with Hyper V. Okay. I guess that's cool, but why is Copilot here? And it won't, it doesn't want to go away. Okay. Of course, when you go shut down Windows Server, it will ask you why you're shutting it down. You know, my, most people, I don't know people. Anyways, just skip that. I like that it let me install it, but it actually says system requirements aren't met, which is really weird because it let me install it. Because, like, Windows 11, the standard ISO will not let you install Windows 11 unless you meet the requirements. You have to, like, make your own modified ISO but this one actually like it let me install it I don't get though what it wants because it says Windows 11 but this isn't Windows 11 this is server 2025 that I hope that there's not like system requirements that have to be met for Windows Server 2025 because you're gonna put a lot of servers in e-waste so that being said thank you for watching this brief video I hope you like if you liked it make sure to subscribe for new around here as I do all kinds of different technology videos including device restorations with that being said, I'll see you all in the next one.